Rising along the Soru River in Turkey's mountainous northeast lies a colossal concrete mammoth, the 275-meter-high Yusufeli Dam. This mega dam, conceived in the 1970s as part of Turkey's bold leap into hydroelectric power, has transformed the landscape and secured a sustainable energy future for the country. In this video, we'll uncover the secrets behind this engineering marvel. We'll look at why the dam was built, how its construction has reshaped the region, the innovative technologies used, the controversies surrounding the project, and its impact on Turkey's energy, economy, and environment. There's a fascinating story behind this concrete titan. So let's dive in. Turkey's energy landscape has been defined by the tectonic clash between rising electricity demand and limited domestic fossil fuels. With over half its energy needs met through imports, Turkey faces deep strategic vulnerabilities as global markets and geopolitics impact pricing and supply security. This energy dependence hinders Turkey's surging economy and its goals to reduce carbon emissions. Seeking to enhance domestic capacity, Turkey turned to its rivers. The mountain terrain and abundant water resources offered rich hydroelectric potential. Sites along the Soru River were identified as early as the 1930s for dam construction. But it was not until the 1970s that concrete plans were formed under the Soru River Development Plan. This ambitious initiative sought to harness the river's full energy potential through multiple dams and power plants. The Yusufeli Dam would be the linchpin, positioned upstream to optimize regional coordination. Its 1.9 billion kilowatt hour capacity could power over 2.5 million households. For an emerging economy like Turkey, such a boost would be revolutionary. The dam offered a chance to reinvigorate the country's entire southeastern region through infrastructure development, investment, and modernization. But realizing this hydroelectric vision required concrete action. The decade's long development plan aimed high, targeting 19 power plants and 13 dams on the Soru and its tributaries. The scale was vast, intended to thoroughly develop the river's basin. While projects began in the 1980s, many dams took shape in the 2000s and 2010s. The Yusufeli Dam was among the most ambitious undertakings, with construction starting in 2013. Through the Soru River Development Plan, Turkey sought to energize its future. The dams and power plants promised enhanced energy security, reduced imports, and new clean power generation capacity. But this bright vision masked the tremendous changes that would reshape communities, lives, and the environment. Progress has a price. For the Yusufeli Dam, this price was over $1.7 billion and was rising. At 275 meters high and 490 meters long, the Yusufeli Dam ranks among the world's tallest. Its reservoir can hold a staggering 2.13 billion cubic meters of water. To safely contain such a massive scale, the dam embraces innovative engineering. A signature feature is its double curvature arch design. Rather than a conventional straight design, the Yusufeli Dam utilizes an arch subtly curved in both vertical and horizontal horizontal axis. This shaping distributes the tremendous water loads and enables significant material savings. Through smart design, less concrete does more. The curved arch transfers pressure from the dam onto the abutments where the structure joins the valley walls. This relieves stress on the dam body while enhancing overall structural stability. The double curvature technique also improves seismic performance, improving safety. For a 100-story tall dam, safety margins are everything. The millions of tons of concrete and steel must stand strong even when the earth shakes. That's why the dam's flexible design is so vital in this seismically threatening region. Another benefit of the arch is a reduction in the concrete volumes required. The dam's curving shape provides added strength, allowing thinner sections to be used. In total, 2.9 million cubic meters of concrete were needed for constructing the dam body. 
Using a conventional straight design could have increased concrete requirements by over 25%. The dam's clever engineering serves its critical purpose, safely holding back and harnessing the raw power of water. That water stores potential energy for electricity generation. Flowing down through three enormous 180 megawatt Francis turbines, the water turns to kinetic energy, spinning massive turbine shafts. This transforms the Soru River's ancient power into a modern energy solution, lighting up Turkish homes. Eastern Turkey lies on turbulent tectonic ground. The ongoing clash between the Anatolian and Arabian plates fuels significant seismic risks in the region. For the Yusuf Ali Dam, earthquakes posed a formidable challenge. Failure in a quake could bring catastrophic flooding. To withstand seismic shocks, earthquake-resilient design was vital. The dam's flexible double arch shape helps dissipate tremors, while advanced shock absorbers further dampen impacts. Joint sealants allow controlled movement to accommodate seismic shifts without cracking. These and other protective measures help the dam safely release stresses triggered by earthquakes. But design alone is not enough. Meticulous construction and quality control ensure seismic resistance is achieved in practice. The dam's concrete placement utilized a continuous, uninterrupted process, allowing each layer to properly cure before adding the next. Strict oversight and constant testing ensured the concrete quality and strength met specifications. In total, the dam used over 2.9 million cubic meters of concrete, with over 69,000 tons of steel reinforcement. Achieving uniform, high quality across such a massive volume was critical. The dam's seismic survivability hinged on it. Carving the dam's foundations from the mountainous terrain also proved challenging. The excavation removed 3.9 million cubic meters of rock and soil to establish stable dam footings. Trucks rumbled through 45 tunnels, hauling out debris. The entire landscape was reshaped to house this concrete giant. Robust roads, bridges, and tunnels were vital for moving thousands of workers and tons of raw materials. Expanding the local infrastructure network took Herculean effort, but was key to construct constructing Turkey's tallest dam in such hazardous terrain. Through rigorous seismic analysis, innovative engineering, resilient materials, and diligent construction, the Yusufeli overcame regional quake risks. Its status as a critical infrastructure project demanded no less. By embracing science, design, and technology, Turkey's mega dam stands strong even on shaky ground. The Yusufeli Dam brought disruption on a massive scale. Over 33 square kilometers were flooded for the reservoir, swallowing homes, history, and habitat. The dam's imprint reshaped the social and ecological landscape. Flooding forced the relocation of numerous communities near the dam site and along the river basin. Entire villages were lost, along with family homes and farmlands passed down through generations. Thousands were displaced as the rising waters claimed homes and livelihoods. The historic town of Hassan Kif, with ancient sites dating over 12,000 years, faced tragic loss. While some monuments were salvaged, much heritage drowned beneath the dam's reservoir. Other archaeological sites across the region met similar fates. Centuries of history were inundated. Cultural costs compounded the social turmoil of displacement. Government resettlement programs provided new homes, but uprooting whole communities ruptured social ties and stoked tensions over heritage destruction. Protests condemned the dam's devastating impacts. Environmental groups also challenged the project over habitat destruction and biodiversity threats. Flooding damaged sensitive riparian ecosystems and endangered local wildlife populations. Although mitigation measures aimed to relocate affected species and protect water quality, critics argued alternatives could have avoided ecological harm. Issues were also raised regarding water security impacts on downstream nations dependent on the Tigris River. Turkey contended adequate flow would remain, but anxieties persisted. Overall, the Yusuf Ali Dam sparked social and environmental controversies. Its giant footprint trampled homes, history, and habitat. While development advocates saw progress, critics decried profound community and ecological costs. Balancing priorities fueled constant tensions, underscoring the complicated waters this dam stirred up. 
The Yusuf Ali Dam promises to energize Turkey's economy and enhance its energy security. With an annual generation capacity of 1.9 billion kilowatts per hour, the dam provides enough electricity to power over 2.5 million households. This energy boost reduces reliance on expensive imported fuels like oil, gas, and coal. The dam's contribution to Turkey's national grid is substantial, expanding domestic hydroelectric capacity by over 6%. As a renewable power source, the dam also aligns with Turkey's commitments to cut carbon emissions and combat climate change. Economically, the $1.7 billion dam represents a major infrastructure investment for Turkey's future. Besides generating electricity sales, the World Bank estimates an additional $221 million will be added to Turkey's economy each year through the dam's direct and indirect benefits. One direct benefit is the dam's massive water storage capacity. Controlled water releases allow improved year-round irrigation for agriculture in the region. Reliable irrigation raises crop yields and farming revenues, stimulating the rural economy. Other economic gains include thousands of jobs created during the dam's construction and ongoing operation. Local businesses also prosper by supplying goods and services to workers. The dam's construction further expanded the region's transportation infrastructure, facilitating economic activities. However, some argue the project's ballooning costs outweighed its benefits. Losing international funding midway through raised the dam's price tag. Delays from protests and an armed attack by the PKK militant group also hiked costs. Whether the dam's economic contributions offset its tremendous budget remains debated. But strategically, the dam reduces Turkey's energy vulnerabilities while adding reliable domestic capacity. By unleashing the hydroelectric potential of its rivers, Turkey gains electricity, irrigation, jobs, and economic growth. While costs were massive, the nation aims to reap the dam's benefits for decades to come. For Turkey, this concrete giant represented an investment in a more prosperous, sustainable future. The Yusuf Ali Dam showcases impressive Turkish engineering, but a controversial human story lies beneath. As Turkey secures its sustainable energy future, this concrete mammoth will continue reshaping the country's physical and social landscape. Its full legacy remains unwritten, but one thing is clear. This bold dam cements Turkey's hydroelectric power potential for decades to come. That wraps up this behind-the-scenes look at Turkey's record-breaking dam project. Let us know your thoughts on mega dams and Turkey's energy transition in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more engineering wonders.